Hi, Crafty Vlog Stalker here, and in today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a candy jar using a Cricut and some vinyl, and of course, the candy. So let's get started. So I'm gonna open uh, the Cricut again. And I'm gonna get my mat. And I have my black. I'm using the same black, so this time I know I need to cut it twice. And I've got my file here that we are all ready to cut. So I'm just gonna put that mat right into the tracks, push the button, pull that mat in. It's gonna cut our file here. And again, I'm gonna cut this twice just because it didn't cut my, um, my eyes all the way through. So it cut once, now to cut twice, I'm just gonna hit the little Cricut cut button again. And it's gonna go over and it's gonna cut it again in the same exact spot. Okay, so we're done. You can see it cuts it out really pretty quickly and it actually cut it twice because again, we're using a thicker vinyl. So now we are going to weed again and it should weed super, super, easy this time. I shouldn't have to pick at it at all. Okay, put that out of the way. So we're going to weed this and then you'll be able to see the image that I chose. <gasps> Yay, look at it just come off of there like butter. Like butter. Just like it's supposed to. If I would have done it right on the other one. There is the file that we cut out. So this is what we are going to put on our candy jar. So here is the candy jar that I bought just for this. Um, I've already washed the inside, so it's all ready for uh, what we're gonna put inside of it. So we need to put our heart on the outside of it. So I need my transfer tape. This time I am going to use transfer tape. And transfer tape just makes it so you can move everything over without anything losing its shape. Cricut has amazing transfer tape. It's probably my favorite. Um, Beverly, that is not a Cricut file. Um, it is basically what I did in a nutshell is I went on to image, or I just went into a Google search and I did love music, and then when you do searches, there's a whole bunch of different options, um, and like most recent images and all sorts of stuff. I clicked on images, so it brought up only the images, and then I found this image, and I saved it to my computer, and then I went to Cricut Design Space, and you upload it into Cricut Design Space, and it will turn it into a cut file. I totally plan on having a tutorial on how to do this, but if you are familiar with Cricut Design Space and know a little bit of how to work it, you could probably do it just with those instructions. But I will be doing a tutorial just in case you need it. So, because then you can basically turn any image, any drawing into a cut file, and it's awesome. This is the transfer tape. I'm gonna apply it to my little treble clef heart here that I just made. And that has a little bubble, so I'm just gonna straighten that out just a little bit. There we go. And I'm gonna use my scraper because now I want the vinyl to stick to my transfer tape. Okay, so now I'm just gonna remove the paper backing. Make sure it picks up every little part of that vinyl. Sometimes it needs a little bit of help. A little bit of prompting. Okay, so now I've got the vinyl on my transfer sheet here. So you can see that that heart 
now is on my transfer tape. So now I'm just going to put it over here on my jar. And where do I want my heart? Do I want it on the front? Or do I want it on the side? So I'm going to just kind of center it on there. Again, I'm just going to eyeball it because I'm not a perfectionist. I'm an easiest. I'm going to lay that down, take my scraper tool again. And now I want the vinyl to stick to my glass jar. Oh, and I should say, I did already make sure that my glass jar is nice and clean. So there shouldn't have been any oily fingerprints or anything like that on it. The cleaner the jar, the longer the vinyl will stay. And actually, if you're even using outdoor vinyl, um, then it still becomes top rack dishwasher safe. This is not outdoor vinyl. I didn't have any and the store was out, so I just used what I had. But, um, but just a little tip. So now I'm gonna peel off the transfer tape and make sure that that vinyl sticks to the glass like it does so perfectly. And now, can you guys see that? There's this really cute uh, heart treble clef, bass clef on this, which just screams that they love music. Um, anybody who reads music will totally see the heart and, and the different um, clef signs there. But to finish it off, Remember how I said she likes Swedish fish? This is the best part of the jar. <laughs> so again, I've already washed out the jar. So I'm gonna open it up. I'm gonna open the Swedish fish and hope that all of them don't fit so I have to eat some. And we are going to just pour those right in. Bummer. <laughs> so, so what do you think? Would you like to receive a gift like this? A fun little candy jar. Now maybe you can see that uh, heart cleft there in the, at the front a little bit better. But that is super cute. I just know my friend is going to love this awesome candy jar with the treble clef and the bass clef. Says everything music that she loves. I want to thank you so much for joining me today. While you're here, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials. And you can also always find me at my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks everybody. Bye and happy crafting.